What's up guys? Um, today is October 11th and also my first horror movie review on this channel. And today I am reviewing the anthology film Trick or Treat. This movie was released in I think 2007. I want to say, yeah, yeah, pretty sure 2007. And it has like four, five stories in it. But like, unlike movies like Creepshow and all that where they're all like different stories completely. This is all taking place on same night, same town. I forgot the name, something Ohio, it's something Ohio, that's all I know that takes place, yeah. Um, and it stars, and it has Dylan Baker, I have no idea who that is, um, Anna Paquin, Brian Cox, and, yeah. So, but the ma the main character of this movie is this thing called, um, this pumpkin thing, Sam. Which, for the most of the movie, he just looks like a um, innocent, like, five-year-old going trick-or-treating. He's not. I'm pretty sure you already know that, because there's a cover out there that, um, that literally shows what he is without his bag over his head. So yeah, like, each of the stories take place in Halloween night, and the first time I watched this, I was kind of confused, because I was like, why is it going back and forth? I mean, I knew what anthology films were, but I was not expecting this to be an anthology film. But, um, yeah, like, one of the... <coughs> like, one of the stories is about, like, a serial killer principal or killer principal or whatever. He works at school and he's a killer. And another one is about, like, five kids who go to see about this, goes to abandon Rockroy to see if the legend of these troubled kids who died and, like, bring, like, five jack o for five souls or eight jack for so eight souls or however much kids were in there. And there was another one where it was like four girls go to a party to have sex and one of them played by Anna Paquin as a virgin and all that and then they're like railroads and all that. And that one's actually pretty sexy, I ain't gonna lie. And there was another one which shows Sam the most and that's about this old man. And yeah, this one... Probably my favorite one because it's Joe Sam the most, and it's kind of the longest one. Well, I mean, they're pretty much the same amount, but um, it's the one that's Joe Sam the most, and this old man's kind of like the Ebenezer Scrooge of Halloween, but instead of having three ghosts visit him on one night, four if you count Jacob and Molly, um, this one, he has Sam come and almost kill him. So... Yeah, like, but it all takes place in this one town, like, and at first it kind of almost seems like it doesn't all, like, work in a place, but kind of goes full circle. Like, yeah, this movie goes full circle, and it's overall just a really good, one of my favorite anthology films, one of my favorite Halloween films, um, yeah. But I think I heard that this is, ba that Sam was based off of, um, a short film, I think, on YouTube or something. I could be wrong, but I think I've heard somebody say that. But yeah. It says right here, the best Halloween film of the last 30 years. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't probably not say it was that, that good, but pretty close to that, actually. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> but I enjoyed all the stories in here. I, I really like how they all intersect. Unlike movies like Creepshow and all that where they're all different stories. I mean, I enjoy Creepshow. I mean, well, technically that's all in, like, a comic book type thing. Well, Creepshow 2 is. I'm not sure about Creepshow, Creepshow 1, but, um, but, yeah. I have Creepshow 2 somewhere. I might I have to watch that and review it, but, yeah. And I think the fat kid who gets killed by this guy... I, I want to say the kid who gets killed by him is Thurman Moment from Santa Claus, um, Bad Santa. I could be wrong, but, yeah. but I really, this movie is really good, and at times it seems like it's a comic book, because, like, so, like, sometimes a show, like, somebody get killed, and then a show, like, a comic book and all that, but, um, yeah, and Sam's weapon is a sucker that he bit, and, like, here's kind of what the sucker looks like, kind of, but, um, he also has it in his hand. There, yeah, <clears throat> but like a lot of like a couple of these were talking about like you shouldn't blow out a jack o' lantern until like the next day or something, and like a few of them actually blown it out and they all got killed. But yeah, the um one with the four kids, 
the reason. <laughs> the assholes, by the way. Like, they pick on this one girl, Rhonda, and play a trick on her. And then she basically gets revenge by going up in the elevator and leaving them down there to get killed by the zombie children. But, um... But, yeah, that's pretty much Trick or Treat. First time I watched this, I don't think I really enjoyed this that much, but... It growing on me, like, the second time I watched it, I really enjoyed it. It's kind of a tradition I have, um, where I watch this every year. I make sure I watch this every year. But, um... But, yeah. So, overall, I give this movie a 4 out of 5. It's just that good. I would highly recommend you watch this if you like horror anthologies or horror Halloween movies and all that. So, yeah. It's a really good time. And there's actually a few parts in this where I actually thought were funny. But, um, yeah. So, overall, so I will see you guys later. Put in the comments what movie you want me to review next. And I will see you guys later. Bye.